Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Along the Juan de Fuca fault line, there was a magnitude 4.1, almost directly across from where these quiet earthquakes in Canada and uh, Washington have been occurring. As of the last day of November, there was 86 earthquakes located, I'll show you, up there in Canada near Victoria. Um, a lot of them were very small. Um, they would be classified as tremors and not as earthquakes. Now, there was some that were a 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, what else do we got here? Looks like that's basically it. And then there was some. Let's zoom in. Near Eureka and Redding. This was a very shallow earthquake, only 10 kilometers in depth. Often they put 10 kilometers when they're not sure of the depth. So that's about 6.2 miles in depth. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. Two people reported feeling this earthquake. I don't see on the Did You Feel It webpage just exactly where that was reported from. Automatic by the computer could have had it as large as 4.84. You can see that right there. 4.88, 4.78, 4.79, 4.81. Just another indication that it is due for a very large earthquake in this area. There was no tsunami warning. And yeah, you guys need to be prepared. Um, very easily could the uh, Seattle fault activate. And they're saying that fault could be more destructive than the Juan de Fuca fault and the Cascadia fault. And this is all, all caused by the North American plate um, and the Juan de Fuca plate subsiding underneath the North American plate. And I did do a report this last week about the uh, Seattle Fault. Yeah. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Please subscribe. Please thumbs up my videos. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.